Hi YouTube, thank you for joining me. My name is Ross. I am a mortgage broker based here in Australia. And today we are going to talk about lenders mortgage insurance and how to avoid paying it or at least mitigate how much you are paying with lenders mortgage insurance. So let's dive in. <clears throat> so let's start with what is lenders mortgage insurance? What is LMI? Lenders mortgage insurance is an insurance that the lender takes out to insure itself against the risk of not recovering the outstanding loan balance. If you, the borrower, are unable to meet your loan payments and the property is sold for less than the outstanding loan balance. Now the bank takes this out, but you, the borrower, have to pay for it. So you pay for it, and in most cases, you will never recover any of that money ever again, and it is quite expensive. You also have to understand that when you're trying to calculate how much you need to purchase your next property, you're gonna have to pay your deposit, plus the lender's mortgage insurance fee up front that comes from your savings. Um, you're also going to have to pay your stamp duty and your solicitor's fees. So it's important to know that you have to pay for all of that. A lot of people will talk to me and they'll say, oh, I found an $800,000 property. You know, we've got a 5% deposit, you know, and then suddenly I'll run the numbers with those guys and they think they only need 50 grand and actually they need 90 to a hundred thousand dollars. It's almost double if you're only putting down a 5% deposit. So anyway, um, <clears throat> let's run some scenarios where we can avoid paying lenders mortgage insurance. That's why you've all clicked on this video. Um, look, scenario one is the easiest to avoid paying lenders mortgage insurance with any lender across all platforms. Um, you need a 20% deposit. Um, most people don't have that, especially if it's their first home. Um, but a 20% deposit means that all lenders will not charge you a lender's mortgage insurance premium. Now, let's go to scenario two. Let's say you've got 15% deposit. Now, there are a couple of lenders out there um, that will do a 15% deposit with no lender's mortgage insurance. So LMI is waived completely. <coughs> um, that is very, very niche. There's only a couple of lenders, so you do have to service with those lenders. The rates are okay, they're not the worst, um, but there are a couple of lenders out there that will do lenders mortgage insurance for a 15% deposit. Now, scenario three is, um, I'm just gonna add this one in while I'm thinking about it. Scenario three is that you are a chartered accountant, you are a vet, you are a doctor, um, you are in a profession where, um, the lender sees you as a reliable borrower. Um, this is very, this is also very niche. There are probably maybe 10 lenders out there that will do something like this. So chartered accountants, doctors, vets, lawyers, um, anything of that nature where you are, I would say a corporate um, middle, middle to high income earner um, type job role, you can, in certain circumstances, waive lender's mortgage insurance um, with that job that job role. So that job role will waive your lender's mortgage insurance completely. Now, the next scenario, scenario four, is that you are a first home buyer. So if you're a first home buyer and you're earning under $120,000 per year um, on your own uh, as a single applicant, um, under the national scheme, providing you're purchasing a property within their framework, the part the price guide, you'll waive lender's mortgage insurance 100%. So you don't have to pay it. So it means that you can put down a 5% deposit. So let's take New South Wales as an example, um, an $800,000 purchase. You could theoretically purchase that with $40,000, 5%, plus your solicitor's fees, $2,500 as an estimate. So all in, 42 and a half grand. Um, to uh, put down to purchase your first property. Now, that rule applies for couples as well, but the couple, as a couple, you have to earn underneath $200,000. Um, so let's say one of you earns 150 grand a year and your partner earns $30,000 a year. That means you would qualify um, for the lender's mortgage insurance waiver um, through the national scheme. Um, 
So there, there's two ways. If you're single under under one hundred twenty thousand dollars, combined as a couple underneath two hundred thousand dollars. Now they have just changed that rule as well. Um, you can do that with friends and family. So it doesn't need to be a partner that you're in a relationship with. It can be a friend from work, your best mate from school, a brother, a sister, um, an auntie, an uncle, anyone. But you both have to be first home buyers. And after you've purchased that property, you have waived your right to then get into the scheme ever again. So something to think about. Now, the next scenario is for a lot of people, they will be in that sort of middle to higher income bracket. And if you're a single applicant and you're on $140,000 a year or even $125,000 a year, you don't qualify for lender's mortgage insurance waiver, which is extremely annoying because it's extremely expensive. Um, <clears throat> now, there are lenders out there that will let you pay for it monthly. And we do this quite a lot with people. So if you're in the bracket, um, I had someone recently, I think they were on $135,000 a year, buying their first one bedroom apartment in Sydney for 600K. Um, now, this lender will allow them to pay that lender's mortgage insurance premium on a monthly basis. I believe the figure was around three to $400 per month, so about 100 bucks a week. Um, and what will happen is we will try and revalue that property every single year until you reach that magic 80% LVR level. Um, and then the lender's mortgage insurance premium will stop completely. So essentially what they want you to do is you take out a monthly lender's mortgage insurance premium with them. You have to be able to service that premium as well. So it does reduce your serviceability a little bit, but it can be done. Um, and then once we revalue the property and you get that magic 80% LVR, where lender's mortgage insurance is waived, that premium will actually stop. And nine times out of 10, when you go down that method, the higher interest rate um, that you pay because it's higher risk going down that model with that lender um, is mitigated by the fact that you actually spend a lot less on your lender's mortgage insurance premium over the course of the maybe one to two years that you have to pay it. Um, so that, that's, that's a good scenario. There is literally only two lenders that do that as well um, out of a whole panel of 60 plus lenders. Um, so something to think about, something to talk about as well as an option. Um, generally, that lender is known as a stepping stone lender, what we would call a stepping stone lender. And we would refinance you to a mainstream funder like ANZ or Westpac or St. George after two years anyway. So you would only be, a, it's, it's kind of a little bit of a... Um, short-term pain for long-term gain. Um, now, look, the last scenario is none of those fit, in which case what we would do is we go down the lending panel uh, and we try and choose a lender with the lowest LMI premiums. So a lot of lenders will use um, Helia as their insurance premium. Um, I would say most of the lenders use those guys or Genworth, the recently changed names. Um, but there are other lenders that have their own internal insurance policy. Um, and those lenders are much cheaper than the other banks. Um, just, just to rattle a couple off my head, NAB and ING both do uh, lenders mortgage insurance premiums internally. Um, so it's worth talking to a broker, figuring out your scenario, um, and then trying to come up with the best solution for you to enter the market. Um, I've recently done it with someone where they just wanted to pay the 5% up front, um, sorry, the 5% deposit um, and the full uh, premium up front. But that premium was in excess of $35,000. It's a lot of money. Um, so look, there are other lenders out there that will um, offer you better options. Um, like I say, the 15% deposit, obviously 20% waives it for everyone. You've got the first time buyer scheme, the option to pay lenders mortgage insurance monthly, and then if all else fails, just trying to choose the lender that's got the lowest upfront insurance policy. Um, look, how can we help? We can shop the entire market for you, um, understand your scenario, find what fits best for you. Um, and look, if you want to do that, you can book a 30 minute call uh, with me. The link will be in the description below. Uh, and I hope that that gave you a little bit of insight into how lenders mortgage insurance work. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, thank you for watching.